Hey guys, Joshua, the King of Sims here, welcome back to the channel. Today you're going to be playing a bit more Forza Horizon, haven't done it for a while. We are going to do the stunt driver. It's where you do like stunts for people, well, for this director's dude. I've done a bit already, so I'm just going to carry on where I left off. There we go. Hello yeah. again. So, uh, I spoke with the director of this Frankie Beaumont movie, and uh, I think they're writing in new stunts just for you now. Well, if I've you're up for it. Uh, I said you would be. Am I good? Great. Anyway, it's all set up on a road course. Bit of a drive, so you may as well take the stunt vehicle, but don't ding it, or the production designer will kill me. Ding it means break it. Let me work out how many gears this thing's got. Six, seven, Location is up seven. in the mountains. I'll see you there. Thank you. Because to be honest, that was a direct hit. There you go, through gate. This is it's like being on a rally stage. Line it up, there we go. Luckily, because I'm a good driver, I can do this. Because I've driven rally cars. Not in real life, but in like games. And I know how they handle. And this SUV to handle. Woohoo! Very similarly to be honest. It's very similar. I just don't get her. through the gate! Yeah. Wait, is there a gate actually open? No there ain't. This is into the quarry. Yeah. No wonder there weren't a gate open, it's never unlocked. However, whoa! I was not looking to see where that was going. Overcorrected there, my fault. Come on! No! Overcorrected again! He said don't ding it! He said don't ding it! <laughs> he said don't ding it! Look at this, so I come in at high speed. Hit the brakes! There we go! That let me get it back, because I hit the brakes. And then we get it back. At least the, like, the things, I mean, windows ain't smashed. We've got five miles to go yet. Jeez. Why didn't we just, why didn't we just go in our dodge? But we were current, but I was Water splash! Yeah! Through gate! I'm gonna rewind a little more because that water splash this time I'm gonna use to my advantage. There we go. I used a, I did a water assisted braking, which is what it's called. Come on, water assisted brakes, water assisted brakes, and then nice. Whoa! That's a left hand. 
outside. Keeping it careful because now the grip will be uneven. I am sometimes rewinding this on purpose just to make this look like a professional. I am good, but on the only problem with this car is because I've got the same car but in its off road upgrades. This is the d default Mercedes G Wagon, not the off roady one. And unlike the off roady one, this one, every now and again, loses its grip because it's running on standard road tyres. But that one that I've got is running on standard road tyres. It's running on them beefy off road ones. Eek! I'm saying that. It's also got beefed up suspension. In fact, there's nothing about it that's not beefed up. Through a farm here. So, now we're coming in, going to change direction, there we go, lovely, no jumps, there we go, and then, that looks good, that's a good action scene. get back to the road because there is no way this thing to climb up this. Ugh. Make that a yes way. No, no way. But this thing is climbing up that. I doubt we're gonna make it now, but it's still a little while a little way. Come on. You can do this G Wagon. Come on! Come on! You can do it! Come on! It's just across these rocks! Come on, first! Go! Yes, G-Wagon! Come on, we've got 40 seconds! We've got 40 seconds! Come on! Come on! That proves it, ladies and gentlemen. That proves what this G-Wagon can do. Oh, top of the world, eh? Enjoy it. You're going to be back at the bottom very, very shortly. What do you mean? I like it up here. Ah, oh, they've cleaned it. Oh, I should mention, you're doubling for the villain this time. Everyone loves a good bad guy, right? Supposedly, you're up in the mountains formulating your evil plan or something. I wouldn't worry about it. You just have to get from the top to the bottom fast as you possibly can. Oh, okay. That's going to be easy. We good? Right. Scene 14A. Downhill rush. Action! Goodbye! They didn't say how we had to get down there, did they? Woohoo! Sorry, G-Wagon. Does this look good for an action movie? Yes! Stalled it. 
going properly, is it? Loading, please wait. What if I do this and then go restart? See what this G wagon can do. Take it off road. Watch the cliffs. Some big air coming up. Jesus. Ow. I can actually feel that. How's that for scenery? Now we've got cameras on the viaduct, so keep control as you come down this slope. There's a reason they said 50 seconds. That house is your secret base. I don't know. Just drive it like a bad guy. You're doing great. Five seconds. Come here. Good. Real good. Who knows how it fits into the story, but I reckon this movie's got a properly diabolical villain now. What you reckon? Probably, because I'm pretty good at driving. Three stars. Nice. That's good. The next episode of Force, by the way, guys, is going to be my opinions on some cars. That's what that G-Wagon can do. It's pretty impressive. Level 4. Nice. What's next? Oh, Horizon Wheel Spin. Got that too. Which means we should do it now. And then the next one's the 50k. Not bad. Whatever it is, whatever amount it is, I don't know. Right, we'll quickly do that wheel spin now. Then we'll do this a bit more, this um, like racy thing. No, not change car. We want to go to Horizon Life wheel spin. We got one. Right, money, please. That's not fair. At least we got a Porsche. That's it's not bad. Enter. Do we have another chapter? So, uh, next chapter. One more chapter, guys, then we'll end it after testing out how good that Porsche is. What's this? Hey, An alpha. there you are. Taking a break from the Frankie Beaumont movie, if that's all right. Thought you might help me with a short film project of my own up in Edinburgh. Race you there? Ha! <laughs> no, kidding. I'm too old for that. He's too old. Are you familiar with Claude Lelouch's Cité en Rendezvous? Look, I'm not usually much for our house cinema, but this is the most famous eight-minute run through Paris ever put on film. Sixth gear being the highest, let's go. These are nice cars, man. You know, mainly used in the rally business these days. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to quit this. Because... I think... What we should do is we should test out that Porsche. And then I'll do my opinions video after this one. For tomorrow. That'll probably be released. No, that'll be... No... Yeah, it will be tomorrow at time of filming. No, I'm not continuing actually. I'm changing my car into that new Porsche, which looks really cool. So we'll drive that back to our base, if you know what I mean. Where are we going to find this Porsche? Oh, and we can also test out the MX-5. See, there's that one that I've got. The very off roady version. Where will that Porsche be? Ah, here it is. Apparently it's an epic car. I doubt it, but hey. Wow. 
Now the interior loads. It does only have six gears, nice. So what we'll do is here, because we're routing back, what I'll do is, I wanna try and make the distance fair. So we'll drive to Horizon Festival in the Porsche. And drive the rest of the way. This thing feels quick. Hello! Hello, people of the world! Turn sharp left. the G-Wagon, so you know the difference, uh, this one, I'm not gonna, actually no I won't bother with that, now, we'll, now I'll show you my MX-5, it's a very nice car the MX-5, Master MX-5, it's convertible, nice, Master MX-5, not the best uh, car for this like weather, but uh, it's still pretty nice. I mean, like, if I could have got any uh, Master MX-5, I would have got the version that wasn't looking for it, I slightly prefer that. Whoa, look at this dude! He just got beaten by a Master MX-5. Impressive. And now I'm losing it. In 400 yards, turn sharp right. Let's get some spoiler. Let me see how good this thing's brakes are. Actually, let's see how well it can actually go around like an obstacle. Whoa, not bad. At a slower speed, maybe. Crash. Well, first thing what I'll do is, is we'll now set this for our house. Nice. And now, I'll change the car over to this Dodge. What Dodge should we take? We'll take this one back. I don't think I've driven this one on the channel yet. Though, it won't be... Well, we will try this car in the next episode, just not first, I don't think. I don't know how many gears this thing's got. It's... That's a very interesting thing with me. I'd like to know how many gears my cars have got. So to do that, I just put them in six, but then seven, eight. It's got eight. Clutch go. Oh, you're on! I've got a load of salis. to him whilst trying to overtake a car and then try to run into me. I don't feel safe around him. Hello! Hello! <laughs> oh my god. He is coming in. What's this guy driving? It doesn't look that hard, does it? There's the old there's something. 400 yards. Turn left. Nice. Let's give him a little contact there. A little contact. I can see why the police want to start using these instead of chargers, to be honest. Mainly being they are absolute riot. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that was lucky. We were lucky there, that was only a little scratch. We nearly had ourselves like a billion miles. Turn left. I do like the, I, I just like the dashboard of this thing, look at it. What the sassiest guy does on his way to work. 
Recalculating route. That's what some guys do on there. I didn't do it properly. Though, 200 so. yards. If you don't Turn mind, right. I'm just going to do it. It's really easy, so I'm just going to do it first. Watch that. And now you're just cruising along that way. On the way to work, going about 20. About 11. And then you just go right down the top. at your destination. watching um yeah thanks for watching guys um joshua the king of sims is out 